Hey everyone and welcome to Butchie Boom. We're so glad that you could be here with us. This is an exciting time here in New York. We're in the middle of August and we have gone back to Lake Luzerne, New York. So if you're looking for things to do in Lake Luzerne or things to do in Lake George, how about the Luzerne Public Campground in the day use area? It's down on Route 9N. It's about a half an hour or so from both Lake George and Saratoga Springs. Very easy access and it's sort of like a gem here hidden in the Adirondacks. It is awesome. In this video, we're going to visit the public campground in the day use area. Uh, it's here in Lake Luzerne, but we have a little surprise for you for the name of the lake that we're going to actually see here. It's not actually Lake Luzerne. But stick around, we'll tell you what that is. Before we get too far ahead, don't forget to click and subscribe, share the channel with everybody. It really does mean a lot. It shows there's some kind of support for us. It gives us some motivation to keep going. Uh, we're going to hang a left over here, as I said, and we're going to go down and check out the public campgrounds areas first. Uh, we're going to check out the top part of the camping area, and then we're going to circle back to the day use beach. Um, so back to the name of the lake. This is actually Fourth Lake. That's the name of the place. Fourth Lake, folks. The address for the campground is 892 Lake Avenue in Lake Luzerne, New York. So I'm a little bit confused, but that's okay. So just want to give you guys a couple of pointers here really quick. The roads are really narrow. Um, the sign limp that we just saw was 15 miles an hour. Uh, believe me, you can't go much faster than that. It, it's a very bumpy ride. Um, all the information, by the way, that we're going to talk about here. Uh, this is the public launch, by the way. That's where you're going to come launch your non-motorized boats. Uh, all the information that we're talking about here, uh, we'll put in the description below so that you can have easy access to it. And we're also going to chapter this off because we know it's a rather long video. So maybe you just want to see the beach. So we'll put a chapter in here so that you can do that. So I had no idea that this place even existed. And as we turn down in here into the first set of campgrounds that we're going to go around and see, you'll see that there's a bunch. You can put a tent up, uh, you can bring your camper. Um, each one of the sites has um, a picnic table. They have a built-in fireplace um, and barbecue. Uh, so it looks like, you know, that you can have reasonable fires and you can bring some charcoal to cook your food. Uh, the activities here at the lake, um, or at, or at the uh, campgrounds, are they say there's swimming, there's fishing, there's boating, there's horseback riding and volleyball. Uh, they have 174 tent and trailer sites and we're seeing some of those now. Uh, my uh, camera holder is a little loose during with all the bumps. But you guys get the gist of this. Um, so there's 174 tent and trailer sites. Uh, they say there's hot showers, there's flushable toilets, trailer dub station, there's a recycling center that we passed on the way coming down here. Um, there's a picnic area, a picnic pavilion, a swimming beach, 22 horse paddocks, rowboat, canoe, and kayak rentals, and of course you can bring your own. We're going to go down here and we're going to hit one more of the camping areas so that you can see what they look like. I think they all pretty much look the same. I did not really plan on coming here um, and I didn't have, <laughs> I was concerned when I saw how big the place was that I'm not going to have enough gas to go through and do a complete tour. So we're, we are going to cut it short as far as we're going to go through and see a couple of the camping areas and then we're going to circle back over to the, to the public beach so that you can see Fourth Lake the beach area that they have over there, which is quite impressive. Lots of parking. As we pass up here, this brown sign. Now this is the Field of Dreams. Huge, huge field. You can have one whopper of a softball or a kickball or something going on over there. Um, it looks like it's a lot of fun. Huge, huge, huge piece of uh, land over there. And it looks like it was dedicated to somebody and of course I was going too fast to see. So maybe you can let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. Again, when we're riding through doing the videos, we're absorbing so much information so fast. So I want to bring your attention really quick to the trees here. You see how tall these trees are? These trees are 30, 40 feet, I'd probably say all day long. Um, 
Have you ever seen on top of these trees what it looks like on top of the trees? We have. Uh, there was a 73 foot, or there is a 73 foot fire watch tower right here in the Adirondacks, about 20 minutes or so from our, the current location here at Luzerne. It's a spruce mountain. We're going to throw the thumbnail up because you guys may be interested in, in going there. It's completely free. Uh, it's about an hour hike or so um, up the, the mountain until you get to the fire tower and then you can climb this fire tower 73 feet up in the air and you're well above you're 30 40 feet above the tallest trees you can see the vermont you can see clear um and in any direction just spin around uh, other than one cell phone tower that seems to be up there the sights are just absolutely gorgeous it's completely free like i said so if you get a chance you really ought to go over there and check it out what a wild time it is You know, and of course, where you're at right here at the, in Lake Luzerne, so you're really close, of course, to Lake George, close to Saratoga Springs and the track, the harness track. Um, there's so much to do if, in the SPAC, and so if you happen to be here during SPAC season, um, you can check the SPAC schedule if you go to butcheboom.com and click on the social tab. We make it really easy to see who's playing in SPAC. Well, because we like to be there. <laughs> So I'll give you some more information as we head back over here towards the, uh, the beach. Um, the quiet hours of the park are at 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. And they say that they're strictly enforced. They say that you can bring a generator. Um, they limit the hours that you can use it though. Um, and it can't be a real noisy one. They say that you can use it from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And again at 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Other than that, they really discourage it. Um, they want you to know that they do provide the uh, recycling area and they encourage you to, to take out what you bring in. Um, let's see, what else do they want you to know? Uh, camping permits can be issued for up to two weeks um, and it's open from July 1st through Labor Day. That's pretty cool. Uh, campfires must be built in the fireplaces provided and should never be left unattended. folks we're getting ready to pull up here and park so they want us to know that the uh, maybe times when the beach um, and swimming is closed when they don't have a lifeguard on you. but as you can see they got campgrounds and they got the barbecue grill but they've got more than this there's lots of them so bring your food and by the many of you have heard of uh, Oscar's Smokehouse they have their smoked meats. Um, they're famous all over the place. Of course, Rachel Ray made them famous through her talk shows and stuff, but they're not far from here either. And we did a video on Oscars. Uh, so we'll throw some thumbnails up. And if you're looking for other things to do in Lake George, uh, there's the mini ha ha. If you're looking for things to do in Saratoga, um, they even have some nice golf courses down there. They have all kinds of things, Saratoga winery. There's all kinds of stuff to do. And we've got videos all over our channel for well, for almost everybody. So you gotta go check it out. Hey, you may find something that you didn't know was there and that you're quite interested in. Hmm, wonder what that could be. So as we walk down, it's a little steep of a hill. Take your time. For me, I had to end the video at the bottom of the hill after I got done showing you everything. I'm gonna give you a nice panoramic view as best I can here. I'm not a photographer, folks. So I'm going to show you around here just a couple of more minutes. Um, actually, it's about a minute or less that we're going to show you. But I had to take my time walking up the hill, huffing and puffing, and you guys didn't want to hear that. <laughs> so anyway, thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you do. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really does mean a lot. Um, we bring these to you at our pleasure uh, because we know that you enjoy them. Um, Thank you again so much. Have a wonderful summer, an awesome fall, and enjoy upstate New York and the Adirondacks. Thank you so much for watching. Watch for our other videos. We really do appreciate it.